for businesses to disrupt any industry, I go by the mantra of disrupt or be disrupted. We're in the cusp of one of the most significant disruptions transportation industry in the world has ever seen. It's time to consider the growth opportunities and positive changes that disruption can bring along. Hello listeners, thank you for tuning into my latest podcast. Today, I would like to share my thoughts and inspire a conversation on one of my favorite topics, disruption. How does disruption really happen? We all know that change is the only constant in life. For progress and evolution to take place, something new has to take place of the old. That is what disruption is all about. It's a crucial element of the evolution of technology. It takes place when something superior is introduced in the market, it shakes up the industry, subsequently takes hold and gains strength, making the previous product, service or technology obsolete. It's perhaps simpler to understand disruption when we look at real world examples that have exponential growth. With just a few clicks, you can order groceries, get medical assistance, stream videos and much more. This was almost unthinkable a few years ago. Thanks to disruption, this is now possible. During the global pandemic, offices both began small shift to remote work for business continuity and to uphold employee safety. This was almost also a form of disruption in recent times. I believe that the greatest disruptors are those who disregard the norm, break through the clutter and succeed in challenging general industry notions and changing consumer perception, proving skeptics and naysayers wrong. You must embrace taking risks, be ready to adapt and be willing to disrupt yourself. Remember that the goal of disruption is not only to enhance the lives of your existing consumers, but also capture the interest of non-consumers and make them into new customers. It's also important to keep in mind that disruptions do not happen overnight. They go through several phases to sustain themselves in the market. Therefore, be prepared for obstacles and know that patience is the key. Though electric vehicles are not a new phenomenon, have been around since the early 1900s, until recently they were not viewed as a very feasible option. However, things are very different today. Tony Seba, co-founder of Rethink X, predicted that the 2020s would be a decade of major disruption across all major industries. And we can see that happening now with the interconnected nature of the transportation industry. We can clearly observe their consequences on each other. The world is steadily moving towards a connected future with cities rethinking their public spaces. Consumers are becoming eco-conscious and are slowly moving towards sustainable alternatives. Though being a traditional engine manufacturer in the past, we at Greaves Cotton took the new way of mobility into our stride and have ingrained it into our culture. We set out early with our pioneering efforts to redefine the way Indians commute. Today, under Greaves Electric Mobility, we are well poised to cater to both two-wheelers, three-wheelers as well. In our quest to disrupt, we are constantly launching products and services to deliver consumer experience to both existing and new consumers. With our new ventures, be it Auto EV Mart, EV Megasite, EV Experience Centers, as I speak, the world is undergoing an incredible transformation, seemingly from all angles. Compelling new technologies such as metaverse, artificial intelligence, machine learning, automation, robotics, cybersecurity advances are poised to sweep the industry as we know. I feel that the technology-driven disruptions can help create a more equitable and a better society and become a positive force in the world. As innovations continue to take place, I'm looking forward to seeing exciting options cutting across the socio-economic spectrum, becoming accessible to one and all in the process. 
businesses need to change the lens through which they view disruption and adopt a more agile approach. Here's to many more disruptions. If you enjoyed this podcast, don't forget to follow me at Twitter at Nagesh A O B. Would love to hear from you all. Thank you for tuning this week. Have a wonderful day.